ready. So a lot of you have been requesting that I do a makeup tutorial. Um, this is not going to be like an obviously like an everyday makeup tutorial. I guess you could wear it if you wanted to. I, like I'm going to be wearing it out shopping today just because I did it and I don't feel like taking it off and then putting it, having to put makeup back on again. So um, yeah, so this is it. It's like um, really smoky eye but it's really really dark and I've had like problems figuring out how to do like dark makeup like really dark because okay you can use black eyeshadow but I mean that's only gonna take you so far like it's gonna be dark but it's gonna look still a little bit more grayish and um, I mean and just like the black round you can use a black round but black round still looks gray to me so um, I'm using a, a couple products that I like. I really wanted that I got for Christmas. Um, actually, I think I only got. Oh, I got. I got two of them for Christmas. I got. Um, I got this Mac um, Carbon, and then I got the other thing which I'm going to use that I think they're just continuing. So I need to get another one. I think because I really, really like it for a really, really dark, dramatic eye. Um, it's the only thing that I think is the, like really, really black that. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's really black. So, on my cheeks, I use Dainty. It's like a really pretty pink, like kind of shimmery pink by MAC. Then, <clears throat> on my lips, I used Myth with this over top, which is Stay Glossy uh, up to six hours. It is by Rimmel. I've been buying a couple of uh, Rimmel stuff lately, and I really like it. So, I went wearing that on top of Myth. And then, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm breaking out so bad today. I'm just going to, I don't even know. And I don't think I'm going to do, I have a feeling I'm going to get a little, uh, some requests to do a tutorial on this look. I don't think I'm going to do one just because I've, like, I've done so many tutorials that are really, really similar to this look that, like, I, I feel like I've, I feel so bad because I feel like it's just repetitive and people are, like, getting annoyed that I'm doing the same thing over and over again. It's just... I do the same thing, I just, like, might change it just a little bit, like, but I'll, I'll technically do the same thing. So, what I did was I took this 20 inch uh, curling iron and I did away, I, like, all the pieces in front of my face, like, all the front layers I did away from my face, and then um, every other one I did towards my face. So, I went uh, away and then towards, wrapped it away and then towards, basically did that over my whole entire head so I'm um, taking like a little time sp smaller section sections than usual um, because these are my extensions that I got and these are my pure hair extensions that I got so yeah so anyways let's get into the tutorial sorry about blabbing okay so first things first is you're gonna want to prime your eyes I've used uh, max prep and prime prep and prime in number two and then um, I like I'm going to take you can use black round first if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to be taking my um, slick black grease paint stick, and I love this thing because it's so dark. Like, it's so black. I was looking for something that was, like, super, super dark as a base, and this is awesome. Some people think it's kind of hard to work with but I'm just gonna go a little bit past my eye for blending purposes I don't want to go too high like I want to go just kind of right below my crease and in my crease like right there and then you're going to want to go pretty fast and I'm going to take this uh, Sigma brush, SS217 brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges because once this is dry it creates a really really good base but once it's dry it's hard to work with so I'm just going blending it out as much as I can my crease and I'm going to take this brush which is a Sigma SS 194 brush 
and just for my inner corner to blend that out so everything looks nice and smooth. So I'm gonna put my eyes should be like that. So I like that it's such a dark base that really makes your eyes stand out like super a lot. And then I'm going to take the black ground again, I mean not the black ground, the um, grease paint stick and slick black again. And I'm going to put it in my waterline. give it a really deep deep look and then I'm just going to take mm, can take anything really to smudge it but I'm just going to use my MAC 214 brush and just to smudge the bottom out so you're going to have a really dramatic looking I I feel like you need kind of like a denser brush to kind of um, smudge it out because because it's so kind of hard to work with that if you use a denser denser brush it'll it'll get it more instead of just using you know like um, an SS 219 you know it's kind of softer whereas this one's you know has really stiff bristles okay so now after I'm done that I'm going to do more of like a matte look. I don't want to do like a really shimmery look on my eye here. So I'm just going to take my Coastal Scents 88 Color Eyeshadow Palette. So it's not the shimmer one. I think it does have some like a little bit of shimmer colors in it. But I'm not going to be using that one. I'm going to be using... I like the dark, how dark it is. So I'm just going to be using my MAC Carbon. And then my SS252 brush, just to give it some more blackness, because I'm just, I've wanted something that, it's like a really, really dark, 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 dark look, Blah, I can't talk, um, and this works awesome. If you want something that's like black, black, I'm going to work that up into my crease as well. Just all over the lid, basically. I'm going to blend this out a little bit. So you have a really dramatic look. Then I'm going to take my um, SS224 brush and I'm going to take a brown color, which I'm going to do this one right here. And I'm just going to apply that in my crease. around the outer corner I'm just kind of blending that out and I'm going to take that same color where's my brush that I just had with my SS219 brush. I'm going to take the same color and I'm just going to go underneath. To kind of connect the colors. So obviously I'm going for a very dramatic look today because I feel like it. <clears throat> now I'm just going to clean my brush off. So I can really blend it out. Maybe take like more of a neutral shade. So I'm going to take like something that matches more of my skin tone, which might be something like that. Let's see who that is. 
and I'm going to blend that around there so it softens up the edges a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to, just to even darken this up because it's not dark enough, I'm going to take this eye definer felt tip eye marker. Looks like this. It's in ultra black and it's by Physicians Formula. And I'm just going to line my eyes. Oh. I have makeup everywhere. I'm just going to line my eyes. Probably don't even need this, but just to added drama. This is my first time using this marker. I actually really like it. I'm just gonna wing it out. Like so. And you could probably do um, a line like underneath as well. But I'm not going to. You know what? I'm also gonna take this brush, which is my Sigma SS209 brush, and I'm going to take that beige color again. I'm just going to go on the inner corner just to blend that in a little bit. And I could add some lashes, but like I said, I'm going out, so um, I don't want to be too dramatic. So I'm just going to um, put mascara on. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes with this curling iron. Curling iron, ooh, that would hurt. Curling iron, ooh. No, eyelash curler, sorry. I like to curl it as close to the root as possible without it hurting. You know how sometimes it like really hurts. And then I'm just going to apply my um, Maybelline Falsies Volume Express in Black is Black. I thought I had a pink one now. See, this one's called Very Black. I don't know what the difference is, but I bought it because it's supposed to be even blacker, so I'm using Very Black. And there you go. So there is my finished really black awesome eye. Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on my really dramatic look. It's really easy as you can see. It's just, it's so weird. Like sometimes you just need the certain things, you know what I mean? So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys later.